what's up everyone so in this video i'm going to show you how to restore the bootloader on your firebird 5 bot that is based on the chip produced by atmel the 80 mega 2560 it is the same chip that powers arduino mega so uh, these bots um, are actually great but the thing is the bootloader can sometimes get corrupted because of uh, some random reasons i don't know what but the bootloader is actually very good because uh, once you throw it into the chip programming becomes very easy and very fast so just in case if you messed up with your bootloader in this video i'll show you how to restore it so before we get into the procedure on uh, pc side i want you to note a couple of things especially the configuration of jumper cable jumper pins uh, on the board itself so you should take a close look at the yeah so the two jumper pins that you can see that are close to the ftdi chip uh, they should be connected even if they are not connected it's not a big deal but the thing is once you load your chip with the bootloader you'll have to connect them in order to uh, directly program it using usb and yeah this one is important you want to disconnect all the jumper pins uh, next to the bar graph because these are connected to the spi chip of uh, at mega 8 that is on board and uh, as we'll be programming using a hardware called STK 500 uh, you want to make sure that the SPI program does not affect the 80 mega 8u2 so for that particular reason you must disconnect all the jumpers from there and that's pretty much it you might not have the uh, XP module but I don't think that makes any difference and yeah, uh, in terms of hardware, there are two more things that you'll need. Uh, first, a laptop with Windows support because I know this trick uh, for Windows. I'm not sure of Ubuntu. But anything that can be done on Windows can be done on any other software, uh, I mean operating system. So uh, that is one thing that you'll need. And the other thing is the STK programmer itself uh, this one is provided by the makers of the bot itself uh, the next robotics they have a really good customer support and well yeah that's all that you'll need plus you'll need a USB A to B connector in order to plug it into the program so let's jump on to the software side as to what all you'll need to flash the bootloader into your bot and yeah i forgot to tell that uh, even on the programmer you you must take care that the jumpers are connected like so the hid mode should be enabled and fast clock should be enabled so uh, that way you'll get the best programming and the least time possible i guess So first of all you would like to go to the computer and open manage. Then head over to device manager. And this is the time when you should plug in your STK program. You can see that there is a new device called human interface device. If this appears, it means that your STK has successfully been installed on your PC and it is ready to be used. Now this is the time when you should mm, plug in the headers at the output of the STK programmer into your bot. Get your bot and power it up first. Once it's powered, plug in your STK programmer into the black socket like so. Once you've done that, uh, head over to the links in the description and download the necessary softwares. Uh, wait, 
a second I already have it so uh, once you download you'll get this dot draw file that you can extract and these will be uh, uh, contents of the raw file now you want to go to program.bat and edit it with any mm, txt editor so here is where you can you'll have to define the path where you have stored your uh, bootloader file so uh, in this folder you can see there are plenty of files but you will have to choose the file that you want to use so uh, USB is USB port is connected to UART2 so we will want that and I will be programming the bot which runs on 14.7456 MHz crystal so I will use this file so just copy this file and paste it over here now copy the path that you have in this case it is e slash bootloader slash avr dude so uh, I'll go to the notepad plus plus and within the brackets I'll place this path now note that this path contains slashes which are uh, backslash or forward slash but whatever you just want to change them like so okay and once you are done with that uh, you want to copy the entire file name and paste it over there so this is going to be the source file once you save it and exit it now you can run the program.bat file so I'll run it now and you can see it, the writing is done very fast but reading will take quite some time so I'll pause the video now and I'll, let, uh, I'll resume it back when the reading is done okay so now the reading is done and the flash has been verified it says hey, we are done thank you which means that uh, the flash has been programmed and now your bot is ready to be programmed over USB directly uh, well that's it mm. if you find the video helpful just give it a thumbs up and I'll make another video to show you how to use this bootloader just in case your FTDI chip fails that is the USB to your connection chip uh, gets messed up for some reason mm, we'll see uh, what our options do we have in that case but for now that's it uh, thank you guys